Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we'll be walking you through the process of pushing SSL certificates across your network using group policy. Whether you're securing internal applications, websites, or other services, deploying SSL certificates via GPO ensures that all your computers and servers trust the certificate authority without the need for manual installation. This is especially useful for large enterprises and organizations with multiple machines on the network. So, if you're an IT administrator working in a company or managing a large environment, this method will save you a lot of time and effort, automating SSL certificate deployment to all the devices within a specific domain or organizational unit. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to deploy SSL certificates seamlessly to your entire fleet of machines. Before we dive into the actual steps, let's make sure you have everything you need to follow along successfully. There are a few key prerequisites to take note of. First, you'll need an SSL certificate file. This could be a .sa file, which is commonly used for root certificates, or a .pfx file, which contains both the certificate and the private key. Make sure the certificate is trusted by your clients or devices, especially if you're using it for an internal service. Second, you must have administrative privileges both on the domain controller and within the group policy management console. Without these permissions, you won't be able to create and push the GPO to your target machines. I have stored an SSL certificate file in desktop, but you can place it anywhere that's convenient for you. Lastly, if possible, I recommend having a test environment set up where you can try out this process before deploying it to your production environment. It's always a good idea to double check everything in a safe sandbox first. Now that we have everything ready, let's dive into the actual process of deploying the SSL certificate. First, we need to open the group policy management console. This is where we'll create and configure the policy that will distribute the SSL certificate to all the machines in our domain. Go to Start menu and open Group Policy Management Console. Next, we're going to create a new group policy object. This GPO will handle the deployment of the SSL certificate to your target machines. Right-click on Select New. Type new GPO policy name. I recommend naming it something relevant, like SSL certificate deployment, to keep things organized. Click on OK. Now that we have the new GPO policy created, let's edit it to configure the certificate deployment settings. Right click on the policy and select Edit. In the group policy management, go to Computer Configuration Policies. Windows Settings Security Settings Public Key Policies Trusted Root Certification Authorities Under Trusted Root Certification Authorities right-click and import. This will open the Certificate Import Wizard. Click Next. Browse to the folder and select the SSL Certificate, click Open, and then click Next. If using a .pfx file, enter the password if prompted. Click Next and then Finish. The certificate has now been imported into the GPO. Now that we've configured the GPO, we need to make sure it's applied to the right computers. Right-click on the OU and select Link an existing GPO. Choose the GPO you just created. SSL Certificate Deployment and click OK. Right click on GPO Policy and click on Enforced. This ensures that all machines within this OU will receive the SSL certificate during the next group policy update. Now we log in on the client machine. Before changing anything, first check the current installed SSL certificate list. Open MMC console. In the MMC console go to File Add, Remove Snap-in. Certificates. 
Add. OK. In the certificate console route, navigate to certificates. Trusted root certification authorities. Certificates. Check the SSL certificate list. Now we will apply the GPO policy. Open command prompt. And run to a command GP update force. Wait 1 to 2 minutes and check the status. Now group policy is successfully applied. Now we open the MMC console and refresh. The SSL certificate successfully deployed. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more tutorials, and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.